guys, I do like it here, but I'm just waiting on the apartment. Uh, on the process of my apartment. And it should be soon coming. They transfer it over like so I can get the place and be on my way. <laughs> and as for me, do I have people helping me? My aunt is helping me. None of my other family is helping me because I don't talk to nobody else in that family. It's my uh, real mom once in a while, but not like close mother and daughter relationship, you know. Because as you know, I was adopted when I was um, two years old. And then I was separated from my half brothers. And then my grandmother raised me because my mom, my real mom, didn't want to raise me. But. I don't blame her for none of that stuff. She's just not talkative to me or nothing like that. None of the family. And bad stuff happened to me anyway as a child, so I can relate to why. Um, as being through um, several stuff, um, bad stuff. With uncles and then my um, grandmother, um, how I was brought up like badly, not like a normal child, and so um, I grew up, and then I had to like run away from that situation because I don't want to get mistreated on that. And so, yeah. And the stuff was happening bad to me. I wasn't doing anything bad to them. Like, they would make her probably lie saying, oh, she's bad. She wants to run away. Be with boys. It's such a lie. Like, I was running away because I don't want to be mistreated anymore. But you know how like people like to twist things and don't say the truth because they're bad behavior. But y'all are neglecting me and not talking to me like I did something to y'all. I didn't do nothing to y'all. <laughs> I didn't do anything to y'all. <laughs> so y'all are the problems. And if they don't talk to me, I don't care. Like. Don't try to like want to know what's in my life going on in my life because you don't even talk to me, so you need to mind your business. <laughs> That's how I see it, guys. I don't sh care to share my business with people I don't talk to. I'm not close to you, like. I don't care for you to know what's going on in my life. And when she was like on the text message, she was like, nothing is hidden from me. Like, what are you talking about? Nothing's hidden from you. Like, you don't need to know what's going on in my life because you're not even t socializing with me, you know? You don't even send nothing for my birthday as a mother. You don't do nothing. So don't worry about my life. That's all to it. Other than that, I'm not mad at you. So just leave me alone. <laughs> and we can talk sometimes. But it's not like talking every time. 
But the only person that's helping me is my aunt, so. There's nothing wrong with my aunt. She is the only normal person in the family. <laughs> but I'm waiting on my apartment. So this is why I'm just waiting process, waiting, waiting, waiting to get in my apartment. So that's why. I don't know guys, it's like a bunch of games, plain plain. If I would have had the right agency at first, I would have been out of here, like, you know? But I just want to get my food so I have privacy and, um, so I don't have to stay here and I don't, cause I don't really want the room back. I don't want to stay here, like, and stuff like that. I don't like staying here around guys, you know? Her husband, but. That's how you do it. I have to stay here till I get my place. But me, in my life now, I live on my own, so nothing you can say over me like she my mom she's talking to all types of guys like and they're talking about your life is okay you know don't be talking about me because i don't be doing that stuff sleeping around with guys and getting guys money i'm like a celibate Staying faithful to my Christian faith and um, staying faithful to my Christian faith and um, not worrying about guys, even though sometimes it's hard to be single, but I'm not worried about guys. I'm not talking to any guys, you know, even though they might try to talk, I don't talk to them because I know, like. You don't want to find a guy that's in the Lord, a Christian guy. That's what I'm looking for. Not just any guy. And I don't believe in sleeping around. I believe we're all correct detect, detect, protecting my celibacy and waiting to marriage. Because I don't live in my past. I live in my current intent of my Christian faith. How God's order is to wait, not have sex, be sleeping around, um, to wait to marriage. That's the right way. And I am pretty practical on my walk of Christ. It may not be perfect at sometimes, but I get back up and ask God to forgive me. And keep it moving.
actually um the her father god i pray that you protect my um your mother and that she seeks you and not men not people not other things that's not of you so she doesn't get lost and go to hell because she really needs to seek you and not worry about all the other situations and i pray that you are um have the other family members turn to you and they ask you to forgive what the wrongs they've done to me and I forgive them for what they've done to me and I ask you to um, help them and they seek you for salvation according to your will. Amen. Godly man, he keeps his heart pure. I know stupid temptations, they know just how to get the way in the way of our Christian walk and our relationship with God. A godly man strives to have purity of heart, he strives to avoid lust and other temptations and works hard to overcome them. It is a godly man, a perfect man? Well, not unless he's Jesus. So, there are going to be times a godly man makes a mistake, like me as a woman. Yet he works to make sure those mistakes are memorized and he keeps his mind short. A godly man desires to be wise so he can make good choices and he studies his Bible and he works hard to make himself a smarter, more disciplined person. And he wants to know what is going on in the world to see how he can do God's work. He wants to know God's answer to any situation he may face and this means spending time in the Bible study, doing your homework, taking your schooling seriously and spending time in prayer and church. And he has a tiggery. A godly man is one that puts in his phrases on his own tiggery. And he strives to be honest and just. He works to develop a strong ethereal foundation. He has an understanding of godly behavior. And he wants to live to please God. A godly man has a good character and a clean conscience. And he uses his word widely. He all speaks out. He all We all speak out of turn sometimes. And offer we are quicker to speak than to think through what we should say. A godly man puts on the faces on speaking well to others. This doesn't mean a godly man skirts the truth or avoids confrontation. He actually works on telling the truth in a loving manner and in a way that people respect him for his honesty. And he works hard in today's world. We are often discouraged from hard work and there seems to be an underlying importance placed on finding the easy way through something than doing it. Well, yeah, a godly man knows that God wants us to work hard and do our jobs. Well, he wants us to be an example to the world of what good hard work can bring. If we start developing this discipline early in high school, it will translate well once we get into a college or the workforce. And then he devotes devotes himself to God. God is always a priority to a godly man. The man looks to God to guide him and direct his movements, and he relies on God to provide him with the understanding of situations. He devotes his time to doing godly work. Godly men go to church. They spend time in prayer. They read devotions and do outreach to the community. They don't try to sleep with women, fornicate, profanity, dirty mouth. They also spend time to open their relationship with God. And these are easy things you can start doing right now to grow your relationship with God. He never gives up. We all feel free. We all feel defeated at times when we just want to give up. 
There are times when the enemy comes in and tries to take away God's plan from us and puts up barriers and obstacles. A godly man knows the difference between God's plan and his own. He knows never to give up when it's God's plan and to preserve through a situation. And he also knows when to change direction when he allows his own mind to get in the way of God's plan. The rope and the to keep going is not easy in high school. Let's start small and try. He gives without complaint. Society tells us to always look out for her. number one. But who is actually number one? Is it God? It should be. And the godly man knows it. When we look out for God, he gives us a heart for giving. When we do God's work, we give to others, and God gives us a heart that sours when we do it. It never feels like a burden. A godly man gives his time or his money without complaining because it's God's glory, and he seeks. He can start developing the selfishness by getting involved now. If you don't have money to give, try your time. Join an outreach program and do something and give something back. It's all for God's glory and it helps people in the meantime. So it's August. August 5th. Friday, 7, 12 a.m. right now. I'm going to get off right now because I'm probably going to take a shower and do everything, freshen up and everything. So I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. And for the ones out there, pray for me.